Luisa Winters and I'd like to take you through motion effects in Premiere Pro. This is the third of four videos that cover this topic. In this video, I will cover spatial interpolation of keyframes. Let's start by keyframing any clip so that it goes from left to right. Create a sequence with your clip and globally change the scale so that it is small enough that we can see the motion of the clip going left to right. Now we can position the clip on the left of the screen and we can keyframe the position value. Now we can move the time position of the playhead and we can change the clip to the right side of the screen, creating the keyframe. As you can see, the clip moves from left to right. We have already done this in the previous video. Now we need to talk about spatial interpolation. Spatial interpolation refers to changes in space, in other words, x and y values. So if any property is changing values in x and or y, then that is going to be considered spatial interpolation. If you do not see the control points of the clip and the interpolating line in the program panel, please click on this icon here to the left of the word motion and now you should see it. You see the connecting line of the two keyframes, connecting the first keyframe to the second one. You also should see that this is a straight line, meaning that we have a linear interpolation here. When we're moving in space in a straight line, that is considered linear interpolation. But if we are moving not in a straight line, that is considered Bezier interpolation. To clearly see the Bezier interpolation, let's take a look at this connecting line between the two keyframes. As you can see, it is made out of dots. The dots mean moments in time, and we will discuss them in the next video. However, not all of the dots look the same. Some of the dots look different. The reason they look different is because they are handles. If we position the mouse cursor on top of one of them, we will see that the mouse cursor changes appearance. This is your visual indication that if you click and drag, you will be adjusting the handle. Let's go ahead and adjust the handles of this interpolation to turn it from linear interpolation to Bezier interpolation. As you can see, we are going from keyframe 1 to keyframe 2, and we are not going in a straight line. This is Bezier interpolation. So far, we have seen only two keyframes. Let's go ahead and add a third one in the middle of the existing two. For this, let's move the playhead in between the two existing keyframes and change the position. Now we have these three keyframes, and the middle one has two handles. The handle on the left is controlling the incoming curve, and the one on the right is controlling the outgoing curve. If we adjust one side, the other one gets adjusted as well to keep the smoothness of the curve. This is the default behavior. You can see the different types of interpolation if you right-click on one of the keyframes. You will see that there are different types. Linear. The motion will go from point A to point B in a straight line. We have already seen this one. Bezier. The motion will go from point A to point B, not in a straight line. We have also seen this. Auto. To ensure a smooth motion between the incoming curve of the motion and the outgoing curve of the motion, we are not in charge of the handles. Premier is. It will change the curve automatically to ensure a smooth interpolation between the incoming curve and the outgoing curve. Let's get auto interpolation. Delete the existing keyframes by clicking on the stopwatch and bring the playhead to the beginning of the clip. Now, keyframe position and move your playhead to a different point in time. Move the clip and repeat this process several times. When you're done, you will see that there are several keyframes in the Effect Controls panel and in the Program panel. You will also notice that the curves were created automatically and that the handles have dots, but no lines. The moment we try to adjust these handles, we will notice that the lines appear 
and that the left and the right handles are connected in an inverse relationship. When one goes up, the other one goes down. This is known as continuous Bezier. Continuous Bezier creates a smooth curve through a keyframe and lets you adjust direction handles manually. As you move one of the handles, the other side changes as well to maintain a smooth curve. So, linear interpolation will be a straight line. Auto Bezier will add the curve for us to maintain a smooth curve. Continuous Bezier will let us adjust the handles but will still maintain a smooth curve. If you want to adjust the curves differently on either side of the curve, you will have to change your interpolation to Bezier. Just plain Bezier. You can do that by pressing and holding the Command or Control key and hovering over the handle. You will see that the mouse cursor turns into an upside-down V. This is your visual indication that this is the Convert Point tool now and that you can click and drag to break the relationship between the handles. Let's try it. Press and hold the Control or Command key and hover on top of the handle. When it changes appearance to the upside-down V, then click and drag to turn the keyframe into a plain Bezier keyframe, where there is no relationship between the handles. Using the Convert Point tool, we can also convert the keyframe itself, not the handles, into linear keyframes. So, if you use the Convert Point tool in a handle, you turn the interpolation from Continuous Bezier to Plain Bezier. But, if you use it in the keyframe itself, you turn the interpolation from Linear to Auto Bezier. Of course, you can also select the keyframe or keyframes, right-click and choose the type of interpolation that you desire. If I want to have a bouncing clip, I would keyframe as follows. Add the clip to the sequence and globally change scale. Keyframe so that the clip goes from left to right. Use the Add Delete keyframes to add some keyframes in the middle of the interpolation without changing the current value. And now select all of the keyframes by clicking on the word position and change the spatial interpolation to Bezier. Now we can adjust the handles so that the curves look like these mountains. The next video will cover temporal interpolation of keyframes. See you then.